Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Note, and this is the pony. So, there is a little problem, tiny bit of problem. Last time, when I finished the episode, I had an idea how to progress here, but that was like days ago, and I don't remember. I don't remember what was my genius idea, but it was something good. Wait, what? Okay, so I'm really limited. I'll save my telekinetic. Yeah, telekinetic powers. I have a torchlight, which is good, I guess, for some reason. It's bright enough as it is. Do I need a phosphorus? Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. Now I still have some. So what could I do here? Fortunately, the lamps are making the phosphor glow. I wouldn't have seen that trace in the dark, even if I had used mine. Wait, do I need to use the lamp? Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. A trace. It seems that gold was dragged toward the exit. Don't worry, babe. Rufus to the rescue! Okay, this is good. Better be safe than sorry. I wanna check his plan. What is this? Oh, I did this. Okay. Let's see then. I need to use it again. And again. And again. Ah! I know this is suspicious. Needle. Free choice. Ouch! Not this one. Ouch! Oh gosh! Huh. This one respects me. I'll take it. Hey, this isn't a syringe at all. <laughs> I've literally found the straw in a needle stack. Who else can claim such a thing about himself? You gotta be kidding me. I do it again. No. A pile of filthy syringes. Who throws out something like that? Okay, so next location. A second. Okay, I'm back. Let's see. So can I collect anything here? No. A monster must have abducted gold. No normal human being could open that with bare hands. Maybe I can use a hook. No. No, no. Yeah. Ooh. Well. Hey, well. Wow. A real whale. I always wanted Dad to take me to the aquarium, but he was right. There was only room enough for me in that fish tank. Huh. The whale looks hungry. Anchovy? Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Huh, it doesn't even seem to see them. Okay, let's give it another try. My bad. It was the cotton candy that was phosphorus. Oh. Well, I guess the eye has to dine out tonight if it wants to be pleased. Better to be safe. Okay. That's str something smell. Damn, he's on to us. Let's get No, 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 no. I want this. Well, I guess the eye has to dine out. 
A battering ram would make me happier. I've got to get through all right, but by cleaning up, oh, there has to be a different solution. <laughs> I agree. Oh well, cotton candy. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Huh, must be on a diet or something. How could I combine these two? Well, I guess the eye has to dine out tonight if it wants to be pleased. Not a chance. I'll hang on to it till my last breath. Not a chance. I'll hang. Hmm. I don't know how to combine them. Which is a problem, I think. Oh, there's a hook. This is a avial muff. Okay. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Huh, it does. Maybe. Oh, hang the lamp there. This is a spoke bevel. This is a spoke. Hang this. Here, fish. Huh. Huh, what can I do with this hook? Not a chance. I'll hang. This is a avial muff. I don't know what am I supposed to do. Actually, there must be some kind of taste. What the whale likes. Must be on a diet, what you said. What are the options? Now it's set to neutral. No. Now it's set to calzone. I don't know what is calzone. Machine, create a new flavor from this. I hate gadgets that only do what they would do. Now it's set to. Can I dip it? Machine, create. I hate gadgets. I guess this works. Let there be light. Okay. I think now the wheel will actually cooperate. I hope. Oh well. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Here I am, behind the cracked window. <laughs> Stupid animal. Which means one less thing to carry around. It's amazing. Ooh. A harmless trawler. The perfect disguise for pirates and slave traders. Or both. At the same time. Ah, oh, locked. Distrustful bunch, these pirates. Okay, can I do this? Not a chance. I'll oh. hang on. A harmless... The... Let's go in. Well, who do we have here? <laughs> Welcome to Bozo's Trash Trawler. I'm Bozo. Don't shoot! I'm unarmed! What? I don't want to shoot you. Listen, I don't want any trouble. I'll just get my girlfriend and we'll leave. No reason to get violent. So, that's the illusion you were talking about? Doc! What are you doing here? Did this pirate kidnap you too? Don't worry, I'll save you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not a pirate, and I didn't kidnap anyone either. Oh? Well, that was easy. I haven't got much time. I need to keep the Organon from blowing up Deponia. What? Why should the Organon blow up Deponia? I, uh, no, I can't tell you uh, anymore. I'm on the track of a conspiracy of enormous proportions. I, uh, <clears throat> I can't get you involved in all this. You don't know yourself, do you? Well, that's... <laughs> that's confidential, too. All I can tell <laughs> you is this. I have to find a way to wake up Goal. Well, then you've come aboard the right trawler. I know a lot about brain implants. Just like me. I guess the cartridge was damaged. Hand it over for a second. Um... Just press the eject button. Hey, keep away, or you'll board the pain train. Pain train? 
Who do you think I am? Just wanted to help you. Yeah, whatever. Ah, uh, so... There? <laughs> Almost dropped it. Hold your horses, young man. Such a cartridge has to be handled with loving care. One scratch, and your girlfriend is nothing but organic waste. Don't worry, she's in good hands. Do you have the cartridge? Sure do. There you go. That was the complicated part, right? Stop joking and show me. Ah, yes. What's your diagnosis? Um, the battery's down? Well, in that case, there's nothing we can do. We should scrap the thing and... Wait a minute. You're just messing with me, aren't you? It's just some dust on the contact pins, that's all. Yeah, and you totally fell for it. Well, this shouldn't be a problem at all. Clean the pins and reinsert it. You mean I should dust? You sound like my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Did you scrap her too because her battery was down? Mm, something like that, yeah. I love this. What is this? It's weird. Uh, oh. Okay, I got an achievement. Key. Hey, you've stolen my key. And you have kidnapped my girlfriend. Oh, she was not kidnapped. And I can put her back out into the cold if you prefer. And how are you going to do that all without a key? Not a problem. My door is always open. So, you shouldn't be wondering when things get stolen around here all the time. Oh my god, flawless logic. I love this. <laughs> so, did you clean the contact pins yet? I'm... Almost done. Hurry up! It's not good for the head if the conscience gets disconnected for too long. <laughs> Don't I know it. <sighs> I hope they know how to party in Elysium. I just found a I duster. take that feather duster. I use it to clean the tanks. Oh, sounds promising enough. If you can clean a tank with it, then it must work twice as well for a measly cartridge. I know what I'm doing. Okay, I, I I don't think I want to use this. I already raised enough dust with this. Goal's memory is stored on it. Caution advised. Hmm. Ah well, that's just a tiny speck of dust. We'll have that cleaned up in no time. I have a bad feeling about this. Goal's data set is a good is in good hands. Rufus's hands. Even so slowly cleaning work he is rightfully so. Below a man like him, after all it's a distraction from his greater plans, we want to clearly establish that a bit of dust is no challenge for this high caliber hero. Acme with the right tools and a good deal of caution, it should be a piece of cake to clean up Gore's brain implant. That this that this requires best of class dexterity should be self-explanatory. After all we are talking about Rufus here. Okay, I need more items. Well, can I help in any way? <laughs> nice try, but I'm not gonna fall for it. <laughs> I'm not conning you. I... Don't even try, Blackbeard. <laughs> if I find out you've done anything to the girl... Well, I'd never. Uh, what do you mean? She was like that when I first found her. I thought she could use a doctor. Yo-ho-ho and a bottle of rum, right? What? No. I... <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> I suggest a truce. Not because I'm scared of you, but out of consideration for the lady, okay? I don't even have any weapons. Are you calling me a coward? If you want to fight, you just have to say so. What's going on here? Do you even listen to what I say? <laughs> I thought as much, you chicken. Rufus is so, but I love it. How can you bear to be in this stinking pirate's den? But I've just cleaned it up. Oh yeah? Well, the rear ends of sea cows smell better than you. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'll give it another good mopping later. Ha-ha! <laughs> By Neptune's navel, to the port side! Arr! <laughs> And don't you get in our way, you hear? You can burn and loot as much as you want later on. But right now, I need some expertise in precision engineering. Well, 
I've studied precision engineering. I've even had three years of... Yeah, yeah, spare me your stories about your looting expeditions, Mr. Teach. I'm dealing with a problem that can't be solved with brute force here. Uh, He's so dumb. Uh, Release Doc. But... He's booked a passage to the floating black market. Oh yeah? And your mother has booked for two, I suppose. Hey, leave my old mother out of this. Whatever this is. Touche, Captain. Touche. What is this conversation? I'm what the fuck? I'm eye on you. I'm just sitting here. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I love it how childish Rufus is. It's funny. Okay, so let's open this chest. There. Open. Let's get rid of the key. No. What have we here? A small brush, miniature bellows, a sealed pack of hand wipes. What <laughs> useless junk. I want to clean a cartridge, not refurbish a doll's house. Ah, yes. This looks much better. A steel brush and a bottle of degreaser. I'll uh, leave the girly stuff. Rufus, you are the fucking worst. Not a chance. I'll ha Maybe this could sweeten my task, but more. Okay, so I think I have everything what I need. I already raised enough dust with this. Degreaser and steel brush. <laughs> that should clean it. Okay, so now I can do it. I think. Okay, so degreaser maybe? No. Oh, I need to clean this. <laughs> no! I already raised enough dust with this. Oh, blech. the duster has dusted everything with dust. And. Oh, oh no. Grease spot. I'll have to give it the once over. Okay. Whoa! This doesn't have to be cleaned. Uh oh, lint alert! Uh oh. Whoa! This looks so bad. The steel brush on Goal's consciousness chip? Only if I absolutely can't avoid it. Hmm. I need to use something. But this bluff is no good. Maybe this could sweeten, but more. Not a. I'll hang. Not a. Ch I'll hang. Why do I have the steel brush then? This doesn't have to be clear. <laughs> no! I already raised enough du What a mess. Maybe I should have washed my hands first. Hope it's supposed to be like this. Another grease spot? Blah. Only if I act Okay, so how could I do this? Oh, Hope it's supposed here. to be like this. This doesn't have to be clear. I'm not giving up yet. I'm not giving up. Huh. Only if I Oh no, this is beyond help. <laughs> Good thing I still have an ace up my sleeve. <laughs> the cartridges fill time for a bigger caliber. Okay, so I ruined this completely. <laughs> the car time. You know what? Back up! What? Where am I? Cletus? Is that you? Far from it. It's me, Rufus. <laughs> well, doesn't the name ring a bell? No, oh. I... I don't know you. I don't know any of you. Fuck. Get here. Help! 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 Oops, wrong cartridge. So I can't use this one. So, it I'm... Almost done. Hurry up! Uh, can you please clean it? Is the cartridge clean now? Um, I don't know. Show me! Holy guacamole, what have you done? I don't know. I turned my back on it for a second and then it was like this. Well, it doesn't matter how it got that way. You still have to get that stuff off it somehow. But don't take any drastic measures. 
Like using steel wool or something. Got it. Then why do I have the steel? What's the point of this? Maybe this could sweeten, but more... I don't need lice or... Hey! Huh, why do I have this? Uh, could you please help me, maybe, please? Well, can I help in any way? Ha! You wish! I... Uh, 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 I'm not even listening. <sighs> For fuck's sake, Rufus. So, what is plan B here? I should be more careful with gold. Who knows if there's a backup? This looks so bad. Greasy, dusty, cold rooted. Every part. <laughs> no! The cartridge is filthy enough already. Time for a bigger Ta-da! Really? Rufus love. Ta-da! Ta-da! Good as new! And those scratches could have come from anywhere. Oh my god. So, this is so bad. Did you clean the contact pins yet? Yep, all clean and shiny. Very good. Show me. Just a minute. Did this have those scratches before? What? Oh, those. I noticed them before. Inconceivable how those young ladies treat their brain implants these days, isn't it? Yes. And they don't even have to eject them from their drives either. Inconceivable. Well, a couple of scratches. They can't be too grave, can they? Talking about grave, has someone engraved his name and a little heart on there? Uh, no. You better give that back. It'll work just fine. Well, it has to. This is a problem. Gold? What? Where am I? Cletus? Is that you? No. Give me a second. You are Rolfie. Rufus. I recognize you. There was that big hole. And then, I remember a hospital ward. There were other people too. Deponians. So it is true. Deponia is inhabited. The Organon lied to us. I have to contact Cletus. Well, uh, that's almost a good idea. <laughs> Just almost, unfortunately. Your oh-so-wonderful fiancé is in cahoots with the Organon. Cletus is... what? Ah, uh, my head. Maybe you should sit down first. But I'm already sitting. Don't worry, baby. I'll explain everything. I saved you. I can hardly remember anything. Not even how I saved you from the clutches of the Organon? There was this conveyor belt. And hey, you were there too. You were operating those levers. Or how I nursed you back to health. I, I remember a, a stinging taste on my tongue. And how I carried you halfway around the planet. Wait a minute. Wasn't there a crane? Well, obviously, you don't remember anything. Be that as it may, you can thank me later. <laughs> Your implant was malfunctioning. Your fall from the Organon cruiser damaged it. The Organons pushed me off the cruiser? Well, yes. Thank junk, I could fix everything. Actually, it was me who supervised the repairs. Yeah, of course you did, Gramps. <laughs> Everyone wants a slice of acknowledgement. And now everything's all right. And now everything's all right. And now everything's all right again. Exactly. Hey, that's a problem. Cletus is a traitor. He's collaborating with the Organon. Of course he is. The Organon is our escort on our reconnaissance mission. Yes, uh, of course, but somehow Ulysses has convinced him to falsify his report. He'll advise the Council of the Elders to blow up Deponia. Despite the planet being inhabited. The monster. Exactly. Okay, he took this quite well. The Organon wants to destroy Deponia. I know that. That's why Cletus and I came here, to see if Deponia was really uninhabited. But people do live here, and Ulysses wants to hide the fact, so that he can blow up Deponia anyway. We must stop him at all costs. Uh, I agree. You've been kidnapped by a pirate. How often do I have to repeat myself? I'm a garbage dealer. I just wanted to help. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on him. He won't hurt you. <laughs> of course I won't. Why would I do that? You see? I'm protecting you. 
Enough talking. We have to prevent the Organon from destroying Deponia. It'd be best if you took me along to Elysium. Then we could tell your people the truth, and everything will be fine, right? Right. Uh, for real? You're taking me along? To Elysium? Why wouldn't I? All we need is a perfect plan. Huh. Hey, you're talking to the right man. Perfect plans are my specialty. Okay, shoot. Um... We should set a trap for Argus. Preferably, we'll dig a pit first, and then we'll camouflage it with some mud, and then we'll sound the alarm. And while you sit on the adjacent hill, dressed as a giraffe... Wouldn't it be easier to pass you off as Cletus? You bear a striking resemblance to him. Well, I don't know. My body is much better toned. We'll overpower him and go back to Elysium together. Oh, that could work. It's a good thing I thought of that. And what about us? Oh, you... Don't worry. When Elysium is informed that there's still life on Deponia, they'll call the demolition off. Yeah, and we'll be on Elysium. We'd be heroes. And everybody will be happy. Exactly. Well, what are we waiting for? Ah, uh, you doing all right? <laughs> Never better. I have never been better. Never been better. Never been better. Never been better. Better. Thanks for everything, Rufus. Ah, oh, not a problem. But we're not in Elysium yet. Let's hurry, okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's. Oh my God. Rufus really fucked this up. I'm gonna keep my. I'm just... That's right. That's right. Okay. Let's leave. Ah, she's following me. That's cool. Oh. Uh oh. That's Argus and his officials. Quick, take cover. Again, we are searching for a Deponian male and a tall Elysian female. We found their traces, so we know that they must still be nearby. If you find them, arrest them at once. The Elysian must not be eliminated. The Deponian, on the other hand, may. Hey, did you hear that? Yeah, I guess I'm too much of a threat to them. Why? Is he too much of a threat to us? No, don't worry. He's just in our way. Hey. Don't <laughs> work, men. There must be someone in the compound. Keep an eye on that gate. Don't let them escape. Yeah. They obviously have no idea who they're dealing with. Stay down. I'll show them the meaning of he's just in our way. Go get him, Tiger. Okay, am I even recording? I am. Okay. What could I do? Just water. It's just water. Wow! The cotton. Okay, so I can't get cotton candy anymore. I don't have to fish in small bodies of water. My old boots are still in perfect working order. Yeah, that would really be... But if I go for a swim, the guards will see me. And I don't have the equipment for diving. Hmm. I hope Goal is watching this. This is something that I'll only do once. Oh my god. To the reactor. I'll save my telekinetic. Ow! What was that? Did you hear that too? Sounded pretty miserable. Yes, it did. Well, I don't think we need to be frightened of an animal that makes sounds like that. It's probably physically challenged. <laughs> Crap. As long as the top is down, I can't make out anything in here. Can I maybe get this for- I'll save my tele- No. Left window. Okay. Ow! This is working. Ow! As long as the top- Okay, so I need to do this maybe? No. Spikes or rivets, okay, but a fork? Hmm. What could I do with this fork? I'll save my tel- Wait. I'll save my- Can I maybe do this? I'll save my- Or- This? I'll save my- Or from this one? I'll save my- No. I'll save my- 
What a mess. Usually the horn is on the hood and not two cars down the road. How could I get it? Oh, pipe. Ow. <laughs> the bone shattering honking will knock them out cold. Uh, which brings us to plan B. I mean, I I'm can just honking. poke it out. Oh. Oh. Where was that? Meow. No, that was not a cat. That was something big. Meow. A cow. A cow must be entangled in this pile of junk. So it would seem. Ch stupid animal. Whew. It's a good thing I'm always thinking on my feet. Definitely. No, forget it. There's nothing there. Okay, fence exit. Wait, what? I can't get any closer. The organons would see me. Eh, it'll be a piece of candy to solve this puzzle. What could I I'll do with this? I'll save my tele... I'll save my... So I can't go down and there's nothing to interact with. Uh, there's this board. Nope, that's where Platy lives. <laughs> that's where Platy lives. Oh, I have an idea. Now I hear it too. Hello? Hello, who's there? You're paranoid, 2017. Whew, damn critter. What was that? No, forget it. There's nothing there. Okay. Now I hear it too. Hello? Hello, who's there? You're paranoid. Whew, damn critter. Or I'll just take it along. I'll save my telekinetic powers for... Eh, it'll be a... Okay, so I need to somehow use this. Where could I place it? Am I blind? Am I missing something? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna look it up. Okay, I looked up what I'm supposed to do and I don't understand it at all, so... Oh well. Don't forget it, there's nothing there. Now I hear it too. Oh! Hello? Hello, who's there? You're paranoid, 2017. I did accidentally. I did not understand the work school at all. Am I recording? I am, okay. <laughs> that was fun. Let's leave. There's my Cletus outfit. That wasn't half bad. Hey, half bad is my second name, babe. Stop calling me that. Oh, uh, come on. We need to hurry. <laughs> okay. Good. Oh, no one. Stop! Who goes there? It's me, Cletus, accompanied by my charming fiance, Go. Finally, I was afraid she'd already eloped with that disgusting deponium. What a bizarre thought. Oh, contraire, Buttercup. Don't be afraid to admit that you did cast a covetous eye on that <laughs> Rufus. Very understandable. To me, he seemed like a dashing daredevil. On the contrary, Honey Bunny. He was nothing more than a self-centered fool. That's enough! You two will have enough time to frolic once we've returned to Elysium. Oh yeah, finally! Final, um, fi 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 final preparations for our return have been made. Very well. Now, I need to talk to you in private, Ambassador. Uh, uh of, of course. <clears throat> Why don't you scuttle on ahead, darling? Me and the bailiff have urgent matters to discuss. 
<laughs> seemingly. B but Shoo shoo, sugar. <laughs> if you insist. <laughs> so we'll see each other in a short while then. Toodaloo. Have you lost your mind completely? I thought we had an agreement. The memories of Ms. Goal must be deleted. And we need the Ascension Codes. Don't panic. I'm working on it. I'll swap the cartridges and uh, leave the original on the platform. That, that, that should make everyone happy, right? Yes, everyone except for the Deponians. <laughs> if you try anything funny, I'll personally decapitate you with a rusty knife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is working so far. Somehow. Time to kill Cletus. You can't even are living here, Cletus. Oh, fuck. I've seen them with my own eyes. I already told you. Ulysses is right. We can't. Am I interrupting? Rufus, finally, I was about to throw this ignorant idiot from the tower. Don't Good. ask me why I fancied him in the first place. What are you doing, Rufus? I thought we had an agreement. Think again, Cletus. I'll go to Elysium with Gaul. <laughs> this is a joke, right? Please go. Tell me that this is a joke. It's not a joke. Rufus will come to Elysium with me. He'll help me to tell everyone the truth about Deponia. <laughs> and you really believe they'll grant someone like him access to Elysium? Why not? Everyone will think it's you. Him? Don't make me laugh. Give it up, Cletus. What's this? You're unleashing your lice upon me. Don't make me laugh. Do I have to get angry first? Are you threatening me? Listen, bub, I've got the third ASCAT in the art of Shwehulu. Yeah, just like I do. Oh, yeah? What's your dojo? Uh, five? Five? I mean, uh, yellow. Fire? Capricorn? Ocelot? Damn. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. Besides, that doesn't sound even remotely like me. I think he does quite a good impression of you. Huh. Be that as it may, this one-man flea circus will never pass for me. Look at the way he dresses. Disgusting. You two go ahead and sort it out between you. But... Rufus? <laughs> and you're planning to elope to Elysium with a wimp like that? Don't make me laugh. You can't even hold a candle to Rufus. Enlightenment is not his strong suit. Oh, ho, ho. At least Rufus is fighting for something he believes in. Oh, you mean he's fighting for the Easter Bunny? <laughs> what have we here? A second disguise. Let's see who's the better Cletus. Rufus is twice the man you are, hands down. Maybe his feet are twice the size. I hope I don't have to wear these clothes in Elysium, too. Yeah, well, almost as good as my handmade disguise. <laughs> the inventory in these rags is ridiculously small. You can't even fit a bucket and mop in there, let alone a parrot and two cats. I like this. I'll put my stuff Evidence. here for now. You can't even hold a candle to Rufus. Enlightenment is not his strong suit. All right, that's enough. Rufus has a certain je ne sais quoi. So this is the wimp you want lacking. to replace me with. Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. Besides, that doesn't sound even rem I think he does quite huh. Be that as it may, this one-man flea circus will he can try and put on my clothes all he wants and infest them with bugs. There is still one thing where I'm completely different. My... Your sagging butt cheeks? <laughs> My birthmark, you dumbass. I can't step him. Fuck. Yeah, what are you doing? Ouch! There's a steal his underwear, really? No, don't! Oh. Yeah! We did it! We really did it! Towards Elysium! 
Not so fast, buddy. What was the agreement that Cletus was talking about? What? Oh, that. Forget it. That's all toxic waste under the bridge. Uh-oh. Let's go. To Elysium! Wait a minute. That's it, right? You don't even care about what happens to Deponia. You just want to get to Elysium, whatever the cost. Me? No! What a change of attitude. He sounded quite different earlier. Deponia stinks. Only idiots live here. If it were up to me, they could blow the whole place sky high. Yada, yada, yada. You keep out of this. Don't believe a word he's saying, Gol. He just wants to drive us apart. But how do I know I can trust you? Trust this rat. Don't make me laugh. No, he hates Deponia. He's an egomaniac, a thief, and a traitor. Just go through his things. I'm pretty sure you'll find a backup cartridge, just in case you realize what he's up to. He wouldn't do that. Well, go ahead. Have a look. Gol, don't. Oh, the cartridge. Gol, listen, you don't understand. I think I understand very well. You know, Rufus. I really thought you were something special. But I am something special. I know you think that, but you're nothing but an egotistical scoundrel. You don't only resemble Cletus on the outside. Come over here. I want to take a good look at you before I return to Elysium alone, so I can remember what kind of a face not to fall for yet a third time. Holy shit. Oh. Um, what am I supposed to do right now? Yeah, okay. We are taking a really good look. Left eyebrow is a bit higher, I think. Pink thing is. Do I need to do something here? Is this bugged? Is she doing more with her thinking? Oh. I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Bother! What next? Argus! About time, too! Get me down from here! Why should I? From the start, you've been jeopardizing our plans, Cletus. Rufus, on the other hand... You can't be serious! You're not saying you trust this lying rat more than me! Why not? He is indeed a lying rat. Hey! But that's what makes him the perfect man for the job. He'll be celebrated as a hero in Elysium, and he'll get the girl. He'll get everything he ever dreamed of. Do you really think he'd risk all that just to save his home that he loathes so much? He's not man enough to do that. Once Gold sees his true self, he'll lose everything he tried to achieve. He'll never take that risk. Congratulations, Rufus. You did it. Just insert the backup cartridge and you can leave. Elysium awaits you. No, I won't do it. No, don't tell me this is the end. Do you want me to roll for a while? No, no, don't worry. I know that you need to go easy on your back. And once we're back on Elysium, I'll give you a nice back rub, okay? I guess so. Come on, don't make such a gloomy face. In a way, it's a good thing that our inspection was without results. Although, oh. I can't remember everything. Or was there something else? Um. Come on, how about a bit more enthusiasm towards Elysium and all that? Yes? No? Um. What's wrong? Is there something you'd like to tell me? Aren't you happy to be going back to Elysium? I am. It's just that... Well then? Towards Elysium, right? Say goal. Yes. Um. Well, it's like this. I'm all is. Well. What are you stammering about? Spit it out. Can I tell? It's just that. You're beginning to scare me. What's wrong with you? All right, then. I'm going to tell you now, but you have to promise not to get mad. Why, Cletus? Why would I get mad at you? Calm down. Relax.
Relax. Some con man erases my memory, poses as my fiancé, and almost gets me involved in a genocide, and I'm supposed to relax. Yes. I, I told you about it, didn't I? I mean, I'm the, I'm the good guy. You'll be the dead guy if you don't return my old memories. But that'd be suicide. Believe me, buddy, not doing it would be suicide. Okay, okay. And now remove... This fragment of pseudo-personality from my brain. And don't even think about inserting it again. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Ungrateful... Oh, what was that the it? goal on the other cartridge likes me a bit more. Uh, this is so uh, fucked. Lace underwear for men. <laughs> he can keep those. If I die, you'll be sorry. Because it would have been your fault. Hmm. Wait, what? What do I need to do now? No, I won't put the backup in. Stop ogling like that! What do I need to do? What? Do I need to go? Oh. This has to go faster! We need those codes! Yes, Bonif. You do know what's at stake. If Ulysses had had his way, we'd all perish here on Deponia. Yes, Bailiff. Any problems here? No, Prime Controller, sir. Just a relay that short-circuited. This matter is of no concern now. I want to address the crew before we head on to Portofisco. Immediately. As you wish, Prime Controller. You heard the man. Get moving! It's now or never. Yes, back up. I'd rather not. No time. They could be back any sec. I'll put in the backup. No time. And never mind, I won't. Okay, the backup might be silly. Hello. Oh! Surprised, are we? I bet you thought you finally made it, huh? Lady Luck loves the righteous, so on and so forth, right? Well, think again, buddy. It's almost ironic. For once in your life, you decide to do the right thing, and immediately you lose everything. <laughs> your dream turns into a nightmare. The love of your life is lost, and your home planet gone. <laughs> I would really love to pity you now, but the cable boat is ready, and the ascension codes have been entered. I don't want to let Elysium wait for me any longer. After all, they're expecting a report from me. I could have left already, by the way, but how shall I put it? My back is troubling me. I don't want to do all the rowing by myself. So, hand over the cartridge. Now, Gull's memories about your failed attempt to mess with my plans should still be stored in her short-term memory. I can delete that in a minute. Hand it to me. <laughs> you wish. Oh, what is going on here? Ah, the Organon. Always on time, always reliable. I guess I owe you an apology. That rat didn't swallow your cheese, Bailiff. But I'm not an unforgiving person. Once Rufus hands over the cartridge, we'll be able to carry out our scheme as planned. Now more than ever. You heard him, Rufus. Give him the cartridge now. Come on, Rufus. Be reasonable. I will return to Elysium no matter what. You can't change that. But if you hand over the data, you'll at least have a chance at saving goal. So what do you say? Do we have an agreement? Fuck. No. Never. Well, I guess I'll have to row myself then. Too bad. But I should have known that your pride is more important to you than Goal's life. <laughs> I bet you already figured out a nice lie to tell her when she wakes up and then realizes that you've brought her a front row seat for Armageddon. Ah, uh, wait a minute. No, no, don't waste my time. Give me the cartridge or don't. Oh, I won't. No, no, don't waste my... Give me the... L let's talk this over. And why, Plato? Should I listen to you? I just want the cartridge. Nothing else. Fuck. Okay, you win. Can I give the backup? 
How unusually reasonable of you. would be thankful too. Unfortunately, she will never know that you even existed. My, my, my. Deponia will make such a great display of fireworks for our wedding. I hate that guy. What? What happened? Um, a lot. Uh, uh, can't you remember anything at all? Of course I can remember. I... I... Um... We two were on board an Organon cruiser. We wanted to inspect Deponia, right? We're on Deponia now. Our mission is over. Did I fall asleep? There, there was an accident. You fell from the cruiser. That's why you can't remember anything. But take a look around. Deponia really is deserted. Fuck. Nothing but junk. Yes, just junk. Nothing else. Come, let's go home to Elysium. We have to prepare our wedding. Yes, let's go. Well, that's that, I guess. I'll be on my way, too. The way home to Kuvak is long, and I need to prepare for the apocalypse. Not so fast, Sonny. You didn't think we'd let you leave just like that. You know too much. Also, I believe you have something that belongs to us. Oh yes, the cartridge. Hmm. Give it to me. What is it? What are you waiting for? Oops. No! <laughs> So long, suckers! What? No! Get that traitor! Shoot him! Well, my friend, did you lose something? The cartridge? Uh, bravo, Prime Controller, sir! Uh-oh, this is bad. This is really bad. All right, that's enough. Fist up. Ow. Oh, not that high. All right, that's enough. Fist up. Ow, not that. Fist up. Ow. Ow. This is cool. Give up, little man. No. Damn, he's too far away. People always. No one can resist the organ on. Okay, so what can I do here? Um, is there any item? Somewhere? Anywhere? Wait, can I? Come on this. See you later. No! Stop! Oof. What are you doing? Stop! 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 Ah, you damn fool! Let go! Uh-oh. Uh The needles. <laughs> Back so soon? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty impressive fall. And you managed to land in the pile of needles. Never seen anything like it. You have my respect. <laughs> Everything all right, kid? You seem a bit stressed out. Oh, this ending! There. The course is set. Next stop, the floating black market. Good. Great. Fine. Are you alright, Rufus? You sound all tuckered out. You didn't finish telling me what happened up there on the tower. I don't want to be nosy, but uh, is Deponia safe? That's out of my hands now. Hmm.
now look at you startled The brain implant cartridge has not been swapped Which was all part of the plan A world has been rescued that he did detest Who'd have guessed, I attest, you'd have done just the same So if you still want to force me to do stupid chores Like washing the dishes to the trash and such You'll just prove that you haven't paid attention to what I said The message at its course like a huzzah as a rule Huzzah, the chorus guys rule Bravo! Deponia 1 is over. Wait, what's that? Oh! <laughs> huh? What's this all about? Isn't that Ms. Hinkle's junk press? No, that's the junk press from my trawler. You need to help me fix it. Yeah, but it looks exactly like Ms. Hinkle's junk press from the tutorial in part one. So what? Who's going to notice? Those who played part one don't even need a tutorial. Yeah, but I bet they're going to play it through anyway, because they just can't get enough of me. Count me out. I'm definitely not going to suffer through this whole tutorial thing again. I mean, it was stupid enough the first time around. Ah, come on. Little repetition can't hurt. Then how do you explain this blister? That is where I burned myself when I repeatedly put my hand on a hot stove. You never learn, do you? <laughs> Au contraire, I have a, a nearly photographic memory. Do you now? So, do you remember how to use the interface in order to talk to someone? Yes, of course. I... Uh, uh, um... Go ahead. Talk to me. Just point the cursor at me and left click as soon as the speech balloon icon appears. No prompting! Can I save? Whoa, the whole menu changed. Welcome back to Deponia. Okay, I need to save right here. That's over right. And that was all for this episode. Thank you for watching. And the next one, Deponia 2 is coming. So, welcome back to Deponia. I can't wait to see where the story goes. This ending was quite cool. So, see you soon. Bye.